Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning to everybody out there. Good morning. Not only here, but in Cyberland and TV land. I think we got it all covered. Good morning to the board. Um, started a little late today. It's not our, our thing, but uh, we all had uh, things, except a couple of members who got here early today. <laughs> so thank you. So with that, um, roll call. Yes, sir. Lisa. Good morning. Board member Cueto. Board member Monestine. Board Member Smith Bano, Treasurer Weinberg, here. Vice Chair Moss, here. Chairman Diaz. Here. We have a full court. So with that, I also need to now go into uh, approval of the agenda. Do I have a motion? Second. Monestine? Um, uh, um, Member Monestine, second by the Vice Chairman. All in favor say aye. Aye. Okay. Um, Declaration of voting conflicts. Let's go from my right. Any uh, any voting conflicts? No conflicts, Chairman. None all the way around. Okay. This kind of new one. We don't do this over there. <laughs> um, citizens' comments. At this time, we're opening the mics to the citizens. That any of them that would like to speak on any of the issues that's brought before us, this is the time to do so. Okay, Mr. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Vice Chairman. Uh, before we open it up to the citizens, a quick question, I guess, to, to legal, because we were just going through asking if there were any voting conflicts. If a board member has a voting conflict, then what happens? You know, if I say, for example, I've got a voting conflict on this particular, you know, contract, what, what happens at that point? Well, they abstain from the discussion. If they want to be part of the discussion, they declare their conflict on the record, but everybody knows that they have a conflict. So they can add, but they got to declare their conflict on what, the nature of their conflict, but they can't vote on the matter. Good question, Mr. Vice Chairman. I, you know what, I, I've been saying, looking at that and going, how did, but this is the way I guess we cure it here in MDX. Yeah, we don't have, we, we haven't had too many voting conflicts, but we, you know, we've had them in the, pla we've had them in the past because we've had business people, you know, other people who had, had some conflicts, but we haven't had that many, it, you know, since I've been here. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Um, a good thing. Commissioner, I mean, Member Monastery. <clears throat> Let's keep it light, uh, yeah, Mr. I Chair. Know, man. <laughs> Sometimes I don't Nobody know here bought any real estate or insurance from me. Not yet. They haven't bought any real estate and insurance from me, so. <laughs> Love you too, man. <laughs> right? Just saying. <laughs> Take advantage of my, my weak side of hearing. <laughs> Commissioner Manistin Iskak has completed his advertisement for you for the morning. Uh, we can resume the meeting. Now. <laughs> Good. Did you want to add something, uh, <laughs> Member of Cueto? <laughs> okay, just checking it. So you're good too, right? All right. All right. With that, let's go into our regular agenda. On the agenda, we have. Uh, a lot of things, if we could get through this agenda, um, I, I don't see nothing really conflicting, but again, this is why we're all here. But uh, let's try to go through it. Is there anything on any item that you guys have an issue with? No? Um, you wanna do me the honors, Mr. Vice Chairman, and see if we could move these? Move so, <laughs> is there anyone that we have to hear? No? So, There's nothing that you have to hear. The, the agenda has been moved all the way through. A through D yes, is the sir. regular agenda. There's also a, an item on the consent agenda, and uh, it's travel for board member Weinberg 
and Executive Director Fernandez to attend the Team Florida quarterly meeting. And just as a note, uh, any travel from the Executive Director has got appro approved by the board. That's why it's on there. Okay, so I have a motion by the Vice Chairman. Do I have a second? I have a second. <laughs> okay, see, I'm not doing too bad. <laughs> We're all working on this. We need to get some coffee in here. So, <laughs> all right, so with that, I have a, I have a motion by the Vice Chairman, a second by the Treasurer. All in favor say aye. 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 All right. So. All right. As stated by the vice chairman and wanting to change it, flip it around, the, the treasurer moved it and the vice chairman seconded it. Now all in favor say aye. aye. Uh, okay. So we're good. Now, <laughs> let me take a moment to once again um, thank uh, Darlene Fernandez for being here and taking the, the job. Um, this is, um, you know, this is going to be interesting coming in the future. There's, there's a lot of issues. This, this agency has never had a problem or a scandal. Uh, I, as your chairman, I'm, I am going to make sure that that stays that way. And I will be reviewing, like I said last time, you know, from point A to point Z. And that review is going to be looked at by each one of you. And your comments will be extremely important to me. Because I think it's, it's important that uh, during these times that there's so many issues going on that the crystal ball is not clear for any government um, as to what may happen in the future. I mean, I even got a call directly to Washington at 1130 just to deal with other issues that are extremely important. Um, so I want to thank you once again because this job is not going to be easy. Mm -hmm. But I know that if there's anybody that could do it, it's you. I've uh, known you for a long time. And I've seen your work. I've seen what you've done in a department that was a little in chaos, I could say, for a time. But um, it, you're leaving it in good hands. I know they're going to bug you a lot, yeah. <laughs> no matter what, still. But uh, again, uh, we're very proud. And I know this agency will continue to flourish in a good way with good projects, with great people. And I would tell you, is, uh, you're going to have a great group of people uh, that have worked here when work was unde undefinable. Uh, at one period, and you guys maintained it, and and you moved forward, and with your head held high during a constant bombardment. Uh, I don't think the bombardment, uh, they're waiting, to, you know, I don't even think there's a ceasefire right now. <laughs> I think I think it's uh, just wrapping up, and they're ready. Yeah, yeah. You know? You know, I know you, you know, like the squirrel that gets the nuts and waits for the wrong day. <laughs> so I just wanted to state that. Anybody else? Yes. How long do we want to give the county to bug her? Uh, is that a 30-day, 14-day? Well, Mr. Council, do we, you, you asked you know, the wrong person that know? question. Like, we need a sunset date for those phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be a limit. <laughs> that was for sure. We're going to declare a conflict. Um, so anybody else? All right. So with that, Mr. Vice Chairman. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair, and uh, thank you for summing up what I believe to be the board's position on uh, Ms. Uh, Fernandez, and we look forward to some great things happening. Uh, I, too, want to thank the staff uh, that was here prior to the change in the executive uh, director's position for the hard work that they did on behalf of MDX and this community. It, it could not have been easy, and uh, I want to thank you for that. And that shows that the organization is in good hands. We look forward to some very you know, good things in the future. Mr. Chairman, I want to thank you for your leadership because I'm sure it has not been easy uh, in terms of the things that you've had to, had to deal with as it relates to MDX. And I just hope that we can get to a point uh, in the future where we can 
do the things that we're good at doing, and that is getting people, you know, mobility around this community, having some of the, the nicest facilities that you can find anywhere. Uh, and, you know, those are the kinds of things that we want to do on behalf of the residents of Miami-Dade County, and hopefully we can get, you know, back to that um, as soon as possible without having to deal with all of the other uh, noise, uh, if you will. And again, thank you for your leadership, and thank you to the board. It uh, has not been easy for the board as well, and I want to thank you for, you know, your support on behalf of this community. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So that, I think that... Mit Carlos, do we have anything, Mr. Attorney? Uh, no, um, I agree with everything that was oh, said. Oh, always accept a great motion to adjourn. Oh, well, well, we, wait, hang on, before you adjourn, can we approve the summary minutes? Oh, that's approve why I all asked summary you. minutes. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant comment uh, on yeah, Mr. Yeah, Fernandez. Simple question: Do we have anything else, Mr. Uh, Attorney? No, I thought you meant me. I really don't have money. I don't want to make any comments. Okay, so what do we have before us? Thank you, sir. <laughs> I have a motion to approve the minutes. I have a second from uh, Monest Commissioner Monestein. <laughs> Don't worry, once in a while I slip up. We'll get it one of these days. So with that, all in favor say aye. aye. Any opposed? None. Anything else? Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, I, I would like to make a treasurer report since we all, uh, you all should have received an April 20th uh, budget packet. Um, we will be going over that in May, but I did want to just bring us some highlights as to where we are uh, for the last past nine month period, which is very good news. Anyway, uh, so it's about 3%, we're about 3% above forecast, about $5 million or so of the 174 million budget. Our traffic trends also showed uh, higher than our forecast, which is very impressive. So it seems that people are back on the road. Uh, and moving a lot more. I did want to bring to light, and it's in your informational I items, the Moody's report, which was part of the agenda packet, uh, because it, they did mention MDX specifically. Um, and I see some, some uh, familiar faces on the audience today. Um, for those who didn't follow or missed it, March 10th, the Florida legislature passed legislation that basically reads that no state-owned toll road agency can raise uh, toll rates by inflation. They, made, they mentioned MDX directly because that new um, uh, legislation uh, means that the Florida state legislature has become increasingly involved in toll setting, indicating a growing likelihood of political intervention which could add risks for bondholders. They also go on to note that MDX's credit quality has weakened as a result of this political interference in its toll setting process, resulting in multiple time grades to the credit rating to date. So they mention us by name. They they're talking about this most recent legislation, and again, the legislature continues to put their hands on toll rate setting, which is making our bondholder, bondholders understandably quite nervous and anxious. So I did want to put that on the record. Uh, on our end, for our books, we're looking <coughs> fairly solid and strong. Marie, if you want to add anything, um, but I did want to state that. And then maybe hear from our new executive director before we adjourn. Yeah. No. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chair. That's Thank all I got. Any and questions actually, we can Madam, discuss? Madam uh, Treasurer, uh, I'm glad you brought that up because that is something that it's very unfortunate that after so much hard work from so many people, just one vote in the legislation could damage so much. So that's something we're going to look at, we're going to discuss. Uh, there is uh, some legislation that I'm going to be bringing forth. Uh, we're really looking at every angle of this, and I'm going to be sitting down now. We're a new executive director, and some ideas that we have come forth because we would have saved this community millions of dollars moving forward in the future. What was uh, the last amount that I think it was 160 something million? About 160 million dollars. About 160 million just got thrown away. Um, and if that doesn't bother you, I don't know what does, but there's a lot that could have been done with $160 million for this community. So this has got to stop as stated by my vice chairman. Um, and we're going to see, and I, and I liked what you said um, when you were going through for positioning of the job, Madam Executive Director, that, you know, we have to have communication. We have to find a, a sweet spot 
where we could negotiate and, and try to see if we could move forward without having the issues constantly haunt us and that we have to try to play catch up on a situation where we should be paying attention to how to improve and continue to improve our highways and our efficiency in dealing with those highways. So that's key, I think, to this whole board and key to the citizens of Miami-Dade County, that now in your leadership, um, it's not that we bow down to anybody because we only stand tall, obviously because of the citizens we represent in Dade County. But at the same time, uh, maybe there's, there's something that could be done after all this loss of money that's taken for no reason at all. So, floor is yours. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Chair and board members. Again, I'm you know, grateful and honored that you have chosen me to be your next executive director. I know the decision was not an easy decision to make. As we all just discussed, you know, the agency has been through a lot in the last couple of years. So this was probably one of the most important decisions I know how we move forward as an agency. And I, again, I'm here to do what's best for the residents. I promise you they're gonna be in good hands. You all are gonna be in good hands. Um, like the chair said, uh, communication is key. And that's one thing you are always gonna get from me. I'm always gonna tell you what I think is best. I'm gonna learn from you all as well, because a lot of you have been here for quite some time, as me and Shelly were discussing earlier. And I have a lot to learn as well. And I know the staff that has been here for a very long time. I've had the opportunity to meet with some of my deputies in the last couple of weeks, and there's a lot of knowledge and things that I know they know what's been going on with this agency and how can we make things better moving forward. So I appreciate everybody here today, and Carlos and Steve and everybody else, and Marie, Juan, Maria Luisa, and the board members, you guys have been great. Bernie, you've been great, and obviously now I'm in a transition from leaving the county. And I, I think I'm leaving the county in good hands, even though they might be bugging me for a little bit longer. 14 days. Yes, nice. okay, so 14 days. Whoever's listening in Cyberland, 14 days. Very little. <laughs> Very small time. Uh, but I, again, I think we're going to be probably working even more with the county, and that's something that we're, I'm looking forward to, moving how we move forward as an agency. So thank you again, everybody. Okay, Thanks. so with that, let's uh, do that motion again. Moved. Moved. All right, Don't and it's be been moved. second by <laughs> Member Monestine. All in favor, say aye. aye. Thank you all for coming. Yeah.